welcome to another episode in this episode i'll be presenting to you about uh, the latest happening in the tech industry that's about the layoffs which happened with uh, the tesla the first week of may we saw google firing close to uh, 200 core folks core folks in the sense which is related to their business and the reason attributed was they are planning to shift those jobs to uh, low-cost uh, countries like India or Mexico. Just then, when it was about to die down, a few days back, it's around uh, 6th or 7th of May, we heard a news from Tesla that they are firing or reducing the total manpower. The total manpower is about uh, 160K. And they are reducing around 10% of their workforce. That is around anywhere between 14,000 people to 16,000 people, they are, or employees, I would say, they are reducing their workforce. And this is not the first time. Uh, the, we, we are now in 2024. This all, this meltdown actually started happening uh, in the late part of uh, 22. That is November, December 22, it started. And 23 was a complete meltdown. Many of the companies, um, there was massive layoffs happening. And there are uh, projections about uh, thousands and thousands of them have lost their jobs. And um, 2024, they are expecting the market to retrieve uh, back. And uh, they were, uh, I mean, after a lull of about a year, they expected market to pick up. But market, uh, again, uh, Jan, Feb was okay. But then Feb, March uh, was not that good. And we are now again hearing about the different layoff. So that's what we are hearing. The most shocking part of it is that uh, even the interns, intern offer was provided by Tesla in somewhere in February 24 and um, to start from May onwards. So even there are uh, news in the social media, even those uh, internship was taken back. Um, they were supposed to start from May. So having said that, uh, there are no clear news whether even i mean about a year back even the offers which was made earlier with some of the companies like meta they withdrew that offer and meta and few other companies also they withdrew the offer not sure whether this happened with uh, tesla but uh, the indications are that about 10 percent of the workforce is getting reduced the most difficult and the saddest part is it was just a generic mail which uh, employees say that they received early morning to their personal ID and many of them was not sure. They went to the office, Tesla office, and to find that uh, their access card has been denied. They were denied uh, access with their access card. That is the employee access card. They were denied and then came to know from the security that uh, they probably have been laid off uh, and then they probably they saw that mail. So this is a shocking but and it's uh, happening quite frequently as well. Though layoffs have now become part and parcel of the tech industry, but this is surprising that uh, one fine morning, you get a mail and the access to the building goes off. That's something bad, but the earlier days it was not so. You're called into the office uh, and uh, then you discuss with the manager and then that's when there will be a reduction of the workforce. They let go the employees. That was a kind of common features. Then probably they'll get all your laptops and uh, then you are uh, probably like, you need to leave the place as uh, how the separation is going to work. That is the part of the HR who is going to discuss with you. What is the compensation they provide? All this were probably discussed and then they do a handshake. But um, there's something which is surprising, which we hear from right from uh, 2023 20, onwards. It just happens so the mail and uh, when you get into your office, you don't have an access. That is uh, a kind of a, a terrible, terrible thing. Um, uh, again, your mind need to be tuned. And these days, we don't know, like, if your mail comes from uh, from any sources, the first thought probably will go for any employees, even though your performance is good. Your mind will play tricky games. You're always on the edge, whether you'll have the job or you don't have the job. But having said that, why did this all this happen uh, in the last um, few years? I would say one of the primary, primary reason was that uh, the pandemic played a totally altogether a different game. 
so pandemic when pandemic came across everything was getting closed most of the developed company uh, countries want to keep their economy going so they pumped in money pumped in money they gave benefits uh, to the employees uh, so that the industry is able to uh, survive which is a good thing of course that is one part of it the other part of it was um, every company was trying to uh, kind of um, devise a method through which work from home was a accepted means or the online was accepted means so they were investing heavily on the online part of it so they said there are i heard companies tech companies who said the future model is going to be work from home we are releasing our offices physical offices there are many companies even in india tcs uh, had said by 2025 we will be retaining only uh, about approximately 25% of the people will have to come to office but in the last one years they are expecting every employee to come to uh, office so one part was the liquidity getting pumped in excess liquidity the other part was the strategy business strategy was also changed more to a work from work from home concept or online uh, concept so investment went into the online uh, concept and finally when pandemic rolled back and uh, then this uh, liquidity excess liquidity which was there caused inflations uh, plus uh, whatever the backdrop of uh, the uh, the the recruitment which didn't happen there is excessive uh, recruitment which happened and um, while the investment was on the online they again retracted they uh, went into a kind of a model where people had to work from uh, office all this uh, i mean change the concept there are severe uh, challenges they found the demand was not picking up as expected uh, in the business so they had to cut cost uh, across uh, the industry so as far as tesla is concerned the another challenge which uh, tesla faces is on the chinese version of automobile which is uh, byd cars which is uh, much more 10 to 15% um, it is costing less than tesla and uh, they are the sales is increasing though the sales is not there in us as far as byd but it is picking elsewhere across the globe so competing with byd on the cars to survive was a challenge that's what i believe with tesla they have to compete with tesla i mean with byd and elon musk also went to china recently uh, it's around april i think if i'm right it's about in the april last week they he went to china and he was supposed to come to uh india he didn't postpone that visit and he says he is going to uh, he is going to go to india sometime later this year post election which is happening uh, probably he is looking uh, my understanding or my judgment or assessment whatever you call it the cost factor is crippling the industry um, in us particularly with uh, the strong us currency uh, with uh, the inflation it is crippling um, the industry as such so most of them like as i said google has already planned to shift even its core team to the low cost uh, countries and um, probably that is there in minds of tesla as well they he probably elon musk wants to uh, move to low cost um, countries because now we have um, excellent infrastructure excellent connectivity uh, the worldwide Uh, web is most stable the internet or is most stable so it doesn't matter where you work from as long as you are able to deliver it it's fine so maybe we are looking at a kind of a flat world irrespective of where you are you need to be competitive the market is actually the world it's not specific to country it's just the world market so unless your product is uh, competitive with any product you are it is difficult to sell that's where um, i believe tesla is facing the cha- challenge nevertheless it's kind of a shocking news when we uh, when the world was expecting um, the the economy will get normal after layoffs but um, it so happened we still continuing with one is that we uh, last year we saw ukraine russia war now we are seeing the um, palestine and israel war and uh, even it has now gone to uh, most of the american universities there are protests as well which is rather unheard um, in recent times the protests happening across uh, us campus that is also unheard so in all uh, we need to wait and watch as what's going to happen so those who are aspire uh, to go to uh, us to pursue a masters uh, degree 
just be cautious uh, one is that um, many of them uh, who, who went there on the um, student visa f1 visa are not able to get even the internship leave alone getting the jobs so they are not getting uh, the internship and even the jobs there are high um, there are layoffs are happening so be careful do your homework instead of uh, investing in lakhs um, do a return of investment so if you are wealthy enough if you can survive it's good no doubt it will give you a good exposure but then having gone there learned and then learned your i mean learned got your degree and coming back to india the salary will be pretty less so servicing the debt will be a challenge for you after investing 60 to 80 lakhs uh, for your masters then servicing that debt through uh, employment in here in india could be a challenge to service the loan keep that in mind do your homework and then probably pursue your masters so till um, we need to see how the rest of the years goes by whether we i mean uh, there is a kind of a settlement in the war and uh, if there is a if there is a growth in the economy then fine we are we could probably bounce back in 2025 so by chance if you are not subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you and cheers